Yo, what's up, guys? So, um, first off, I haven't made a video in a while, and uh, this is like a cool little 3D look effect type of thing using Sony Vegas Pro 11. If you haven't downloaded it, you can download it somewhere off the internet. Everybody has it. Whatever, you know the routine. But, um, let's start off. Let's uh, treat this as a video. Uh, it's just a picture that I just extended in the timeline. Now, um, first off, for this effect, you want to uh, change your project video properties from uh, the stereoscopic 3D mode to any of these three right here. Uh, and it has two different colors, so when you do a 3D effect, it's kind of those two colors that will make your effect look how you want it. I'm going to do red, and this is kind of like a blue, so let's do this. Now, um, what happens is when you click apply, the color is going to turn gray-ish. So watch when I click it. Uh, the color is kind of changed to a grayish color. But that will be fine because we're going to fix that right now. And then, once you have that done, you go to your video effects, your uh, color corrector. Drag the default down. It's going to have all this stuff here. Don't worry about that. Just click on your uh, custom settings. And drag the saturation right back up to where the original picture was. That's way too much. So I'll just put it to like there. That looks that looks about right. And then you can just adjust the settings to how you like them. Uh, that looks good enough for my my standards. Now um, to get a 3D look, the 3D type of look effect to it the stereoscopic 3d adjust just drag it down uh, add the effect then now go to your uh, corrections tab now once you start moving these away from zero uh, the red and blue start to uh, start to like come into the picture so the vertical offset makes it look like that so like you get you get what I'm saying it's common sense. You just move them. Rotation that rotates red and blue from left and right. Now, um, when you're doing this, you can have fun with it. You can adjust the keyframes, all that stuff. So you can have like a, a 3D shake, kind of like Twitch in After Effects. And you can have some fun with it. So. That's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully you can add this trick to some of your videos and stuff. Uh, if you have any questions, send me a message. And I do read them all. So uh, send some tutorial requests in. Uh, like the Facebook page. You can also um, send some requests through Facebook if you want. But uh, I, don't have, I, don't, I don't even know how much fans I have on that page. I don't really care about that Facebook page. But uh, yeah. Whatever, just send a request in if you want, and um, that's really it. So have a great day, guys, and I'll talk to you guys later.